Rafi dazzled us tonight. Dazzled us tonight. But guess who she brought with her? Her daughter, Kateri. So I'm just thrilled. This is this tag team. The last time I saw a tag team, I, I saw um, uh, Barbara Seville, and it was a father and son, and it was great to see the baritone and the tenor. It was just great. Father and son on the same stage at the Met. It was very exciting to have that type of thing, and here we have it here. So I hope I haven't embarrassed you too much, Calgary. Please grace us. because it's Father's Day, in reference to what my mom read about um, her car getting washed all the time, I just want to say for the record that I've never had to wash my car in my life, because <laughs> it always gets washed before I even begin to think about it, <laughs> the fact that it might be dirty, <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> I wrote this one last December. Um, it was it was rainy, raining a lot, if you recall. Um, so I do a lot of hiking, and you know how it's awkward when you come upon a couple that's fighting. <laughs> well, that's kind of what this is about. December. It would appear we can survive anything, if that is the point. Though it won't stop raining, though the earth rains back, gushes all its secrets and mud season three months early, we forget this ends in a burgeoning of daylight. We forget to look up from the ground. In the woods, hiking, worrying the beads of stubborn thoughts, I'm coming up behind the middle-aged couple I passed earlier. New Jersey plates, maybe up for Christmas. They don't see me. They are talking louder than people should in the woods. They are, in fact, arguing. Here we are, Jeff, in the middle of the woods. I've been here 50 times, raced the dark to get down. I stare mostly at the ground, know the strange curves. I've slipped on wet leaves, dry leaves, roots, mud, my wrist busted by a sideways stone. That time I cracked my skull. So, well, I probably never loved you the way I should, Jeff says, his voice risen in defense and desperation, and because he is so helpless. I stop. Here we are, the middle of the woods. The glade before the trail twists up, Streams that have appeared overnight lurch through, ostentatious. We're not far from our cars, from flatness and light, the pavement a joke beneath our feet. Can I back away slowly, meld into forest? Can I walk slowly for once? Can I be so honest three days before Christmas in the middle of the swamping and silent woods? But the dog, it sees me, barks, and they turn. So I march on through, pet the dog, say hello again, trying to pretend I don't know that things are falling apart, that they have, in fact, been fallen apart for quite some time. And this is a spring poem. Uh, it might be the beginning of a, something longer, but it's, it's called Vernal, as in spring, um, as in vernal pools. You probably know what those are. Um, vernal. The other night, the frogs were out crossing the roads in the rain, emerged from muddy, dark, and wet into more of it, following water down to where it seeps, and holds. The pools that won't stay long, but are here now, ready for the stashes of jelly clear eggs. The heady rush towards spring, its brief cacophony. 
We draw ourselves maps as if we are not at every moment crossing a thousand invisible paths. It happens sometimes, the rain at night, the bodies flattened under wheels. Enough of the eggs will grow heavy and fruitful, clumped and hidden under leaves, floating nurseries, black specks of unformed eyes. The pools will recede, but even in summer you can sense them, those hollows where the damp comes first and lingers dark in the leaves, where life was cached, grotesque and transparent, startling 